Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. Hey, guys. We're looking at a Netflix trailer that came out a couple of days ago called I Am Not Okay With This, and it premieres February 26th. It has the uh, the young lady, the little girl person thing from It Chapter 1 and It Chapter 2 uh -huh. in the flashbacks of It Chapter 2. Yes. So, uh, yeah, they got some uh, craft language in the uh, description here. Oh. It says, uh, Dear Diary, go F yourself. From the producers of Stranger Things and the director of The End of the Effing World comes a new series based on... Why would they put the asterisks on the one spot and not on the other? Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's check this out. Dear Diary. Go fuck yourself. Getting like Sydney? Carrie vibes. I'm a boring 17 year old white girl. I'm not special. Yippee. Might help with your moods. I keep losing my temper. <laughs> Just puberty. She's a superhero. Ooh. I think there might be something wrong with me. What do you mean? I just feel different lately. Everybody feels like a freak sometimes. Yeah, I guess. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, right? You're done. I mean, she's got short hair also, so kind of, you know, this emerging power thing. I want you to attempt to have a normal high school experience. Hello. <laughs> oh lord, he's gonna get his ass whooped hard. She beat up the library and the bowling alley. Man. Holy shit! What's he doing? Just wait. Hey. <laughs> All right. That's cool. This is also period, right? This yeah. is set well, it feels in the 80s. it feels yeah. very eighties. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because I, I thought I saw in the background a poster uh, in the bowling alley that said nineteen eighty three, and oh. so I was like, okay, maybe this is set in the eighties, and it's not just stylistically we love the eighties, so everything's gonna look like the eighties. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, it's entirely possible that it takes place today with the way kids are dressing now, all retro and whatnot. Yeah, it's like, is but, it eighties or is it hipster? Who yeah. knows? There's a uh, comment here from Tasty Fresh it says the girl from It with a friend named Stanley who was also played by Stanley from It. Yep, 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 so. very exciting. You know, you put those kids from It in anything and it's like, kabloom! Yes. Popularity. I am actually on board with this despite the fact that it's directly a, uh, it's like, Stranger Things, you know, B-side. Yeah, know. but I mean, like, didn't you watch the end of the uh, no, Effing World? I did didn't not. You? No, I did not. It don't. was about those two uh, teenagers in, in the Well, maybe UK. I did, I don't remember yeah, it. Yeah, but... I, I remember you watching that, and it does kind of have that similar vibe where it's like, you know, a boy and a girl, they're misfits, just, and then a bunch of weird stuff happens. But I can't tell Murder. if she's into boys or girls or both. Maybe, maybe who both. knows? Maybe it's that kind of coming of age thing where you're like... Figuring yourself out. Figuring yourself out. Maybe I'll like see if I like my friend Stanley. Right. Maybe I like my best friend. Maybe I like them both. Right. Who knows? I mean, this feels like Stranger Things but more fun, if that's possible. I mean, because it, it has that kind of fun, upbeat vibe like, of her discovering herself. Lighthearted. It's more lighthearted. Yeah, it's less. It's less uh, serious. Serious. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's the that's the feeling I'm getting from this so far. It it starts out sort of, yeah. It's just more fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think on some level we can all kind of relate to this. Anyone who's gone through their teenage years already remembers just how 
angsty it all was and you're definitely getting that feeling like I, I totally related to that character on some level where I'm like, Ugh, I'm so frustrated, I'm so angry, I don't know why, I just want to knock stuff over and break pencils and like yeah. throw bowling balls with my brain. Yeah, but she's got superpowers. Yeah, and which so, is cool. So I'm wondering how much of the trailer ha uh, is, you know, show how much of the season is shown in the trailer is what I'm trying to say. Because... At some point, that's going to introduce questions, and the government's want to get in, going to want to get involved. Like, what is this? And then we're going to investigate you and probe you and yeah. put stuff all over you and monitor you and whatnot. Like, when does that show up? You know, the third act of ET and whatnot. Like, is that going to show up? Yeah, and who they, knows? They haven't indicated that here yet, but I would imagine that's going to be introduced at some point in the show, and then you're going to have to find out about her origins. Why does she have this power? It's her where, dad. Where did her parents come from? One of her parents an alien. Her dad. You know, or is she an experiment like Eleven? You know? Oh yeah, maybe. My question is, whose blood is on her dress in the beginning? Dear diary. I was getting the very much Carrie vibes, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and then she's running in her prom dress with all that blood on her. And then later on in the trailer, you see her kind of being bullied, I think, maybe by her best friend's boyfriend. And so I was wondering if maybe something happens at prom. I don't think it's a bucket of pig's blood. It all goes wrong and she accidentally explodes a bully. I think that she explodes a person. Yeah, all that's of, what yeah. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like human blood and not pig blood. I mean, there's a big difference in the texture of blood if you analyze it like real close. You can tell the difference between pig and human blood. On In, in a movie. In a movie trailer, yeah, yeah. They usually get it right. Yeah. Well, oh, supreme accuracy. Supreme accuracy. Yeah. No, but I mean, in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure she exploded a bully. That's that's what makes the most sense to me. Yeah. And it's supposed to mis mislead you, sort of a misdirection with that with that Carrie vibe at the very top. Yeah. Where you think that maybe something like, like that will happen when she's finally happy and she's like prom queen and whatnot. I don't think she'd ever get prom queen. I don't think it ever. Fair. I don't think it ever goes. That's mean. I no, don't think I mean, it ever just, goes there. Just the way the trailer's going, it doesn't seem like it's that type of story where suddenly she becomes popular. She could be prom queen. You don't know. Anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> it, it's possible. It's 2020. We see everything with 2020 vision. Uh oh. We see our hearts. Anyway, it's definitely got that fun 80s vibe going on. We, yeah. we are in a string of 80s throwback film stories now. I do and not mind. Use, using all the same kids that yeah. look like they just were dropped out of an 80s television show. Yes. So, or like or like the Breakfast Club or something like that. Right. You know, so, even the font feels super 80s. Right, well, yeah. Anyway, she beats up the bowling alley and she beats up the library. What's gonna happen next? What building is gonna get beat up by her next? They didn't show bleeding from the nose, which would have been straight up. You know why they're doing this, by the way? They why? needed to find a way a little pimple on my head. They found they needed to find a way to create another Stranger Things without it being Stranger Things because Stranger Things is, I believe, if not mistaken, uh, Netflix's most uh, popular show. I believe that. Yeah, and then like the other most popular movie is um, the one with the Asian chick who's like, I'm not over you or something. All the boys that I oh, had sex with or whatever it's called. <laughs> no, to all the boys I loved before or something. Yeah, same difference. Yeah, yeah I, th if that, I, I think that's a movie, right? Not a yeah, show. Yeah, that is a movie, and they yeah. just came out with part two. Yeah, see, that's I, if I'm not mistaken, that's the most successful movie on Netflix, and this is the and Stranger Things <clears throat> is the most successful show, and so they they needed to find a way to capitalize on that in some way. So you get the girl who is not 11, but you know, kind of looks like 11 a little bit, but and, and has superpowers like yeah. Stranger Things, 80s vibe, yeah. love story from a girl's perspective, boom. You know? This, Recipe for success. You know, not to bring up bad blood, but like that's how uh, Kevin Spacey ended up getting, uh, you know, the first big Netflix show was like they found that a lot of people just love Kevin Spacey in general. And so the audience for Netflix loves Kevin Spacey. They brought him in to do uh, House of Cards. Oh, and so, you know, okay. Netflix is just tracking your, you know, your views, what you click on, how long you watch that for. Mm -hmm. And so they're going, all right, bang, bang, boom, new concoction, yeah. Korean sushi. You know, it's like, it's just, it's like, it's sushi, but different. You know, it's got, got little different things going on. Yeah. They don't serve spicy tuna or California roll here, but, uh. And it's tasty AF. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is quite exciting, and I don't mind the 80s vibe. I'm wondering how long they can saturate this trend before people are like, get over yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Like, show me something from the 90s now. Yeah. Well, that's coming soon. Yeah. 
And uh, we're all gonna feel old. If you don't, you will soon. So thanks so much for hanging out, and on that great vibe. And uh, check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.